Hey everybody, Coach Troy Brown here and today we're going to show you four different deadlift exercises done from the rack, not done from the floor. Traditional deadlifting is done from the floor like a normal deadlift, but here which is basically using the dead stop. Here we're not using the dead stop, we're actually going to use the rack. So there's four different exercises. Number one is the RDL, the barbell RDL. Number two, number two is straight leg deadlift. Number three is stiff legged deadlift. And last but not least is the American deadlift. I'm just gonna show you what the differences are. But before we get going, I do wanna add though, this is just my belief and my way of doing things. If you had 100 coaches in this room, they would all probably do all these four exercises completely different, okay? So just, this is just my take on how we do these exercises. So exercise number one is the barbell RDL. The first thing you wanna do, right here we've got 135 pounds, 60 kilos, so I'm gonna take it off the rack, and that's the difference between a traditional deadlift and an RDL. And all I wanna do is just take one small step back, because if I've got heavy load and I'm doing an RDL, I don't wanna have 405, and having to take three or four steps back and then having to walk with 405 back. So all you wanna do from the rack position, whatever exercise you're doing, is take one small step back just to clear the, uh, where the bar was resting. All right, so with the RDL, the key with the RDL is the shins stay vertical to the wall in front of you, so the shins don't move. So what I try and do is I coach people on having a slight hip hinge with the knee soft. So this is straight legged, this is a slight soft knee. So we're taking the bend, sorry, taking the, I'm taking my legs and I'm using a slight bend, but I'm gonna maintain that bend without allowing my shins to move. So I'm gonna lower down under control to the point of where I start to feel my hamstrings are fully lengthened, which is probably about there. Any lower than that, then my lower back or my thoracic spine's gonna round. Then I'm gonna come back to the starting point. Here I've basically really initiated the stretch reflex in that bottom position between the eccentric phase and the concentric phase. And that right there is how I would program or how I would demonstrate an RDL, keeping my double chin and really focus on hip hinging, keeping the tension on my glute and hamstrings and keeping my lumbar spine in neutral. So that is the RDL. Exercise number two, straight leg deadlift. So again, we're not picking it up from the ground, we're gonna pick it off off the rack. And similar grip to the RDL, I'm gonna take one step back, keep my shoulders in a good position, my chin's double chinned. And now what I'm gonna do now with the straight leg deadlift, I'm still gonna apply that slight bend in the knee, lower down under three seconds ideally, and now I'm gonna try and go a little bit deeper without allowing my spine to round. So now you can see I'm going a little bit lower with the straight leg deadlift. Okay. So that was the straight leg deadlift. Exercise number three is the stiff legged deadlift. This is where it gets a little tricky. Many bodybuilders in the day would do this on the bench, that's how we used to do it. And we would take it off the uh, bench press, stand on the bench, take it off the bench press, and off we would go. So with the straight leg deadlift, this is slightly different. And how I coach it, similar position with my feet, the shins are still parallel to the wall in front of you, and now my legs are gonna com be completely locked out. Now as I go down and I initiate, the bar comes away from the legs ever so slightly. I'm still trying to keep a neutral spine. And I would recommend if you're doing a straight leg or stiff leg variation, you want to be lifting about 30% of your R. You want to be lifting about 30% of your one rep max. So my legs are completely locked. Okay? Now the last tricky one is the American deadlift. The American deadlift is initiating the pelvis. So what I'm thinking about with the American deadlift is posterior pelvic tilt. When I'm in hip flexion here and I go into extension, as soon as I go into extension, what I want to do is go into posterior pelvic tilt. So it looks something like this. Similar grip. 
Everything in straight lines, double chin, core is braced, and all I'm going to do here, similar to the RDL, is go just about knee level, and then posterior pelvic tilt. And contract the glutes. Very small range, really focusing on posterior pelvic tilt. Okay, those what I would say are the four different variations that you can try. My, my interpretation of four exercises that you can do with the barbell coming from the rack. And remember all four movements ideally from the rack position is just to take one small step back. Because if you're using a lot of load, it's very dangerous. Having to take multiple steps forward. And then lastly, what you want to really focus on with all of these exercises is not picking the weight up from the ground. What they do, they help facilitate the conventional deadlift and help you actually. But I would recommend not to use any of your one rep maxes with these four exercises. With the stiff legged deadlift and the straight leg deadlift, Lift about 30% of your one RM. RDL, I recommend going no more than 85% of your one RM. And then with the, and also with the stiff legged deadlift, you want to lift about 30% of your one RM. So yeah, I want to show you the stiff legged deadlift on a high position. So I was showing you earlier about talking about doing them on the bench, the old school way. A lot of bodybuilders would do it on the bench. I'm um, just going to show you my variation of doing it on these weights here. I've got two 45 pound rubber plates at the bottom here. Is this a good exercise to do? Maybe with lighter loads, but don't, try not to go heavy. More, no more than 30% of your maximum load. So with the straight legged deadlift in a deficit, what I want to do is I'm looking for the bar to come away from the body and initiate my legs to be completely stiff. There's no bend, and I'm going to try and get as maximum of a lengthening of my hamstrings as possible. What I do like about these with light weight, they really help strengthen my lumbar spine, L1 to L5. And I'm constantly looking at the ground. And this is a great accessory exercise to help cater for the full deadlift and give you a lot of hamstring strength and hamstring power to get you through your conventional deadlift. And that is the stiff legged deadlift done off the deficit. That's it, that's basically the four exercises, the difference. I hope this helps, I hope it's giving you some value. And if it has, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave me a comment, and also hit the like button. Troy Brown signing off, have a great day, take care.